Hello, hello. Today I'm going to talk about a very specific type of slew, very unique and um, organic. Now we say slew in in uh, Eurorack um, community. Um, we also sometimes say glide or portamento when it comes to uh, VST synthesizers. Um, and I, I know that for most of us it's a simple thing of just putting a slew between our sequence and our synthesizer. Right? Simple, it works. Most of the time that's enough. However, today I wanted to show you um, another technique that arguably will give you way more organic results. And instead of the slew module, we will actually put a filter in between. Notice what happens when I... Here we go. So this is the first takeaway. We can always replace slew with filter. And this technique is not only VCV rack. It, it works really beautifully in Euro rack. This is, you know, in my Euro rack setup, I have dedicated slew limiter, and yet I love putting my CV signals through filters. So uh, my recommendation, if you've never done it before, over the next couple of days, try to change your habits and refresh your routines a little bit, and instead of using slew, put filters in between. And it's very you know, it's, it's great because you always have a filter on the screen, so so uh, it's a win-win. Um, there is a very simple trick with filters. Um, you just connect um, your CV not only to input, but also frequency input. And what it does, you have a symmetrical slew, but it's different than um, this asymmetry. This is a symmetry that's related to whether signal goes up or down. However, this changes amount of slew depending on the pitch of your note. So right now, higher notes are sharper, and the lower now lower have slightly more slew. And we can reverse that. <laughs> right. So now higher notes are lagging. Uh, behind. So this is, you know, this is my usual setup is something like this. Um, now I want to add something slightly more exciting to this, which is um, a bit of resonance, because now we're going through filter and filters have resonance. So let's try that. probably hear that we are getting something interesting but we completely lost tracking so how do we fix it um, later I'll show you a slightly more elegant method but right now I'm going to do it in a very uh, kind of caveman way so let's say we want this resonance to be here And all we need to do is tune those octaves. So I switch my quantizer to octaves only, and I just need to amplify the signal. Because what, what happens is when you increase resonance on most filters, you lose gain. So in CV domain, it means that we are losing that volt per octave consistency. Here we go. So now we can add other notes. Obviously, you know, it's by the ear, so it won't track perfectly, but that actually may be nice. Um, and there's something really nice about this sound. Listen to this. Right? Compare it to with the plane.
there's something organic going on because there's this tiny little wobble um, on the onset of every note. Now, this is this is fine. I mean, this is something I, I use a lot. However, I uh, I want to show you a method that is arguably slightly more elegant. Um, how about we split the slew that this filter gives us from resonance? So let's just go back to just a simple slew VCF. And I'm going to put a module here that you don't expect. Just a lot of fun. Equalizer. I know it sounds crazy to put equalizer on um, on CV control signals, but um, you will see how awesome it will become. We have uh, you know traditional EQ, and I'm going to set one of those into low frequency. And here we go. So. That, in other words, I'm adding a little bit of resonance to the sequence, right? So this is my slew, and this is my a bit of that wobble, that 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 little, you know, searching for the note. Now the problem is, I want to go lower with this frequency, um, so we need to force this module to do that. We can do it by applying constant voltage to this frequency. Let's do minus one volt. Good, maybe let's do minus two. So now this frequency, you know, let's go even lower. Now we have, we can adjust. How awesome is that, right? We can adjust the amount of wobble, how long it will linger. <laughs> There's something um, exaggerated about it and cheesy, perhaps. So, you know, I'm, I'm trying to to show the concept. I think normally in, in real life, I would just try to tune it down to as little as possible. So the slew, very little. Just a touch of that unpredictability. And, and you know what, I, I think I could stop this um, this mini tutorial here. However, I want to show you uh, what happens when you um, try the same technique on different filters. And I think that's the beauty of this method, that we have so many filters and a lot of them are um, imitating or emulating real counterparts, hardware counterparts, analog. So there's a lot of in unpredictability you can find in different filters. Um, and I think that's that's so much fun um, to explore. So um, one filter that you probably already know really well, and this is a filter that exists in real Eurorack. Um, we can do the same thing. There's a little quirk, that quirk though. It is it flips the signal so if you you know that's I mean we obviously we can we can flip it very very quickly so the same situation we can do slow however what this filter offers us as well is bandpass mode and notice what happens when I increase resonance Let's also go lower, because I want this wobble to be even slower. So now, you know, what you might think, okay, so what, what do we do with this? Well, we can separate that resonance from the slew. So in other words, I want to have two filters. One will be traditional low pass that will act as a slew limiting and it's actually not that how I not how I want to patch it eventually but 
um, and the other one will be adding that wobble and instead of going in uh, serially here I'm simply going to mix these two signals together and that's the whole trick so any mixer will do uh, as long as it's CV um, kind of DC coupled in this virtual universe and okay so we have we have low pass filter going here we are not touching this and another one is coming from band pass and and we also have to remember my slew has high resonance so again yeah this is what we want to have so now this one is resonance and this one is slow and I'm going to adjust only the, the second one and uh, this technique is, is pretty cool because what you can do is you can independently have let's say no slow at all Thank you. 